right, so here he is, the number one lightweight contender. And man, if that's not saying something, right? Got through the gauntlet at 155 pounds, made himself undeniable. And now tonight, DC, we find out what he has for the champion. It long has been considered the deepest weight class in the UFC. So you know to get here is very tough. You have navigated the waters. You have done everything right. When it was time to press square, you press square. When it was time to press X, you press X. You better do it again tonight if you want to become the champion. There is no room for error as you try to win a UFC championship. And no room for a one pound allowance. He was right on the number 155 pounds championship weight. Confidence is high that he will wrest the title away here tonight. So here is the other worldly mixed martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has bullets in his corner. Yeah, Coach Habib is as undefeated as fighter Habib, but we love getting the opportunity to see Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy's a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with Hasbulla in his corner. And if Hasbulla didn't have any value, probably wouldn't be in the corner of Habib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for the former lightweight champ tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov finds himself in yet another big spot here tonight. Tale of the take now for this lightweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Ben God of War, And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Mimagomeda. Herb Dean, our referee Wait, for this one. Wait. Wait. Well, what an unbelievable venue and backdrop for this mixed martial arts event here tonight. You know, the first stadium show we ever did was at Roger Center in Toronto. Here we are at the Scotiabank. UFC 129, 50,000 fans. Which has also been home to some great UFC title fights. Big ground and pound. Great work here from the bottom fighter. He passed the half guard. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do? to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map. And there you go, again, half guard. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nermago Medov. 
Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Big right hook there by the champ. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Meta. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Nurmago Medov going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. Oh, that guillotine is officially tight. So he's got the ground and pound game going here. Marco Medov's in half guard. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, beautiful fight instinct there as he reverses position, and now he's got the dominant position. He did a fantastic job recognizing, man, I have got to get on the offense from bottom to top to dominant to position. What a great job. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Yeah. Round two straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, there's no way you got that right. You lost that one, okay? But we're going to take this next one back. You know you can do it. We're going to stick to our striking. He can't handle it, all right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, on. round two. Shot heard him. Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots today. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Big left hook coming. It's good. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots. Fight goes up. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Nice shot there by the champ. It would serve him good to throw more of those. Oh, fades upstairs and lands flush to the body. When they land perfect, that is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. Maybe stop very soon. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Can't get a good awareness by the defensive fight. Get up, get up, get up. He passes to half. Now he's going full mount. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to... This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Oh, 
Oh, this is not good. That right eye starting to shut. Trying to recover full guard there. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, nice shot landed from the bottom. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Under 20 seconds now to go. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly Ready. because his opponent is not Ready. defending. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Nice punch to the head. Heavy kick downstairs. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, good work with the jab there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Great timing on that take down. Nice strike from the bottom fighter there. Locks up a triangle now. You set off the top. His go-to submission looks pretty tight to me. Oh, and if he's got you in there, then you know that you're in a lot of trouble. He's starting to shift the arm across. Attacking all bar. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Back to his feet. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Clean punch. You heard him real bad. Nirmago Medoff going for the takedown. Nothing doing there. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Khabib's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Oh, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told see to do to to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. And he has a great double leg. Oh, goodness, he has a great double leg. He passes the half guard. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys who start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down to the opponent's neck to try to choke him up and finish the fight. Keep your all right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. We're now headed to the championship rounds. You're looking tired out there, but I know you trained hard. There's more left in you. I need you to be smart now.
All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative. Oh, my goodness. And that will do it. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 15 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle Romano Mera. Well, you heard it there from Bruce Buffer, and what a moment for Khabib Nurmagomedov. It's one.